Hello, Industrial Engineering 190G. Um, I am here this week to talk about obviousness, specifically related to my first case, which is Spectrum Pharmaceuticals versus Sandoz Incorporated. So this case was brought up in, or it went to the U.S. Court of Appeals in October of 2015, and they affirmed the decision that was or originally made by Nevada's District Court. Um, and the details of the case are that Sandoz Incorporated created a generic version of Spectrum Pharmaceuticals patented cancer chemotherapy treatment. And um, so, yeah, the district court held that, had held that Sandoz Inc. had not infringed on the patent. And in fact, that two of the claims of the patent were invalid due to obviousness. And this was upheld by the U.S. Court of Appeals. So... Originally, Spectrum filed the suit against Sandoz because of two main violations. The first that was brought up in the first, their first two claims of the patent um, had to do with the composition of a mixture of 92% to 95% by weight of the leocoverine to the diastereo isomer. Um, and then the second violation, alleged violation had to do with the fifth through ninth claims, which related to the mixture being sufficient to provide multiple doses in a, in, in a 2,000 milligram per dose, like, capsule or whatever. Um, so, Sandoz had actually gone to the abbreviated, had created an abbreviated new drug application for approval of a generic version of the drug in single-dose vials that were, like, 175 milligrams. And because of this, the court concluded that they did not violate the claims as they were invalid as obviousness over prior art. And Spectrum appealed this and then that the final ruling obviously upheld it. Um, so their appeal was where obviousness really comes into play and whether a mixture of at least 92% of the isomer leocoverine would have been considered obvious um, when both the 50-50 mixture of isomers and the pure isomer were known in the art. And the court rejected this appeal because studies actually have proven that purified leocoverine and the 50-50 mixture of isomers are essentially the same thing. So yeah, uh, this is one example of obviousness playing a role in a patent litigation. And I will be back soon with a second case.